All right. Ooh, God. Hey, it's just me. Once again, I, I go on this page just so I have like the thing for the thumbnail at the beginning of the recording, even though we could do it later. And I don't know if I pointed out, but isn't it weird how it says work with a team of randoms to get the job done? Like, not like random squids, just randoms. Seems like a very blunt thing for Nintendo to do. I mean, really any game to do. Hey, Biggs. But yeah, this is a solo, a short solo salmon. Basically, because of three things. One, I mean, it's obviously solo because Gavin's not here. He's just hanging out with his buds. Excuse me. Which is all fine and good. I can do this on my own. Oh, that was a weird camera angle. But, uh, so there's that. I, and the thing is, like, I probably could wait. But, uh, the reason, one of the reasons why it has to be short is because I'm going over Luke's not too long from now. Like, I'm gonna have dinner and then head to Luke's. So, there's that. So, like, I can't really afford to wait. I've been kind of budgeting my time pretty well today. Like, I've been getting things done, actually. I've, did, I've done laundry and stuff. But it still feels like a bad day because it's 80 degrees. And that's another reason why I want this thing to be short. I mean, of course, like, you know, time is a pretty big factor. But, uh... Like, the sheer heat is just, like, I don't want to stream in the sheer heat. And I've been wanting to do Odyssey free running, but you know how strenuous that is on me already? Let alone in 80 degree heat? Like, that'd be fucking disgusting. You know? Come on. Oh my god. Why would you not come closer? Alright. Okay, we're having a problem here. Thanks. Yeah, so essentially, Gavin's not here because he's out with friends, and it's short because... I have to go to Luke's, and, uh, it's hot out, and I don't like streaming when it's hot. Of course, summer's probably gonna see a very sharp downgrade in streams until I get used to the heat enough, I guess. I'll never get fully used to the heat, that's the dang truth. But, like, you know, I can at least get used to it enough to stream, I think. It's just, like, heat completely paralyzes me, and I hate it, and I hate how my family just hates me. So, it's like they have the door open. And it's 80 degrees out. And 80 degrees, like, you know. Like, nine, 90 degrees is apocalyptic, I'd say. 80 degrees isn't apocalyptic, but, like, I'm, I'm like, telling myself, I can't, I can't normalize 80 degrees in my brain, because 80 degrees is still really hot. Like, 75 degrees is hot. 80 degrees is really hot. <laughs> 85 degrees is, please, God, stop this. But, uh... Nighttime? Yeah. 70 degrees- 70 degrees is hot, honestly. 60 degrees is, like, perfect. <laughs> 60 degrees with a breeze, perfect. 65, you know, you're getting there, but still pretty alright. And then, uh... Yeah, after that, it starts being hell. So it's been 80 degrees for the past two days out of, uh, seemingly nowhere. So, uh, great. And it's gonna be like this for five months, and it's never gonna get better year after year, which... It's very promising for me. I don't know if it gets better, or if it's better up north, or if that's a, uh, or if that's just not true, you know? Oh, we're in like the 400, there we go. The 400 difficulty, someone should be using the Stingray. And 200, I understand, because it's not too hard to get to 200 professional. 400 though, you know, you kind of gotta work your way up here. Surely you've seen someone do it before, at least, right? 70 to 86 is warm. Yeah, they're like, there are people who, uh, like, live in Florida and stuff, and I'm like, you know, I, I hate that, I hate that thing where it's like, you know, oh, come, come down in Florida, <laughs> it's like, yeah, okay, like, I understand it's hotter there, and I mean, you know, but, like, there's this weird thing that humans do where they do get used to temperatures, right, like, <laughs> you know, isn't that weird? Like, eventually, this isn't gonna feel as bad it is, as it is now, this is just the first 80 degree day of the year. And my body's used to, like, 40 degrees. And speaking of, it's going to be 40 degrees tomorrow. Half of the temperature it is now. Of course, it's not really how temperature works, is it? Like, you know, 40 degrees isn't half of 80 degrees, because they're negative degrees and stuff like that. But that's, like, 40 whole degrees off in a single day. I guess it's because it's going to rain. But then it's going to stay pretty mild, like, not really going much above 60. So, that's good. <laughs> That's good. Any any way to stave that shit off, honestly. 
I hate heat so much. You don't understand. It's high up here, which means that's probably it. Yep. See, I'm thinking maybe like 600. You know, I was talking about budgeting my time, but I never, I didn't really uh, look at the time before I started streaming and be like, okay, it has to be this time. Because I still got to make dinner, I still got to shower, because it's hot out and I want to shower. And, uh, it's still, uh, I still gotta pack up and stuff. And Luke's off work now, so I could... Like, I could theoretically start going over there now if I wanted to. But of course, I have, I have like, a to-do list this afternoon, so I couldn't... And this is on that to-do list. And I do want to do Odyssey. I was thinking about it this morning while I was trying to sleep. And, uh... Like, I think I could do Sand, Lake, and, uh... Wooded Kingdoms pretty well. It. It's low over there. Wave three as well. Oh, I should have saved those. <laughs> oh no! And we have a disconnect. That's fine though. As long as those two don't die. Oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. Okay, we're good. Woo! Yeah, I'm really not looking forward to spring and summer now. Like, you know, normally it's like, oh, we'll worry about it later. But now that I'm actually in it, it's over. <laughs> it's over. I can't, I can't stand this. It's like, oh yeah, I was talking before about how I was like, you know, getting shit done and stuff any other day, I would be feeling really good about myself and just in general. Now it just feels gross, you know, like, <laughs> because I feel gross, I should say. It feels like, you know, today was bad, even though it was better than most of my days, really. So I'm just like, I hate heat so much. Is this this dude's like Discord tag? Jeez. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to sort something out with the parents. Just be like, okay, how much, how much of my money do you want to just leave the AC on? That's all I want. I can't, I can't do another summer where they have all the doors open in 85 degree temperatures. It just doesn't make any sense. I can't take it. I can't. So, <laughs> they had the doors open. They had the doors open over the past few days when new mulch was set. So it just smelled like shit in the house too. Thankfully, I just... Have my door closed so it doesn't smell like that here but every time i go out to get food or go to the bathroom it's just like oh that's a pleasant thing to come back to <laughs> mulch i don't know why people set mulch in the heat because mulch smells worse in the heat is it just like we can't you know us landscapers can't set mulch or or can't set mulch until it's at least 80 degrees Oh, 80 degrees, best get that mulch out. It's like, ugh. It's probably our, like, neighborhood that mandates it, though. It's like everyone was getting new mulch. Neighborhood's gotta look good. Even if new mulch is largely pointless, at least for our family, where we don't do any gardening or anything. House with, uh, Rudy. They, they seem like they do a lot of gardening. Good on them. They put up a, uh, they put up a little thing. What do you even call it? Like a, uh, just a little, uh, it's not a tent. Just a thing, a thing to sit under on their porch or whatever. And it, uh, provided excellent shade today. <laughs> I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna sit under that and you do your thing. Cause Rudy, who I was walking, was just lying down. And I'm like, Rudy. Rudy, I, you can do this inside where it's air conditioned, please, Rudy. <laughs> please, Rudy, why are you like this every time? <laughs> uh, but it was fine. On, where's that fucking moss? Jeez, took forever. Oh my god. Terrible. Terrible gameplay. 
Thank you. I think that person intentionally didn't take that egg because they knew it was mine. That would be very nice. I'm hoping that that dude would proc a bit sooner, but nope. Uh, nope. Okay, now I have this piece of shit. This piece of shit weapon. It's probably gonna be salmon or restless, right? Nope. Oh, even better. Run out of ink, so I'm gonna do this. Die. Die. I was watching Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog YouTube clips earlier today. I made a tweet with that why 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 clip earlier <laughs> Jeez that that showed the voice acting well, I don't know about Sonic and Tails They're fine But Robotnik scratch and grounder excellent especially Robotnik like Really put his all into that Okay, can we not do this bitches Maws too. Oh shit. <laughs> like, are maws meant to sow the seeds of chaos? Because if they are, they're like really bad at it. There you go. Oh, there are two maws, but really the maws are only. Maws aren't even bad. It's everything else that's <laughs> around them that's bad, and then the maws just happens to get the last hit. Like, Maws, you aren't impressive. Don't buff Maws, though. <laughs> Don't do it. Oh, yeah, that can just drive off the edge. Great. You know, now that I'm streaming, it's actually not as bad as I thought. I don't know if it's just because it's getting colder out or what. Or just the promise of something else. No, I'm, no. I'm just hallucinating. I wish I could hallucinate like this more often. Oh, yeah, now there comes the heat. You know, it's like... I won't shut up about the heat, because that's all my brain can think about. It's like, I can't even do simple things, like, you know, write stuff or anything, because of uh, how paralyzed my brain is by heat. Like yesterday especially was absolutely mis miserable. I'm surprised I got as much stuff as I did done. Can't even fucking watch stream VODs or streams or anything in comfort. And you don't even do anything when you're doing those. You're just in, having a good time. Enjoying the commentary. Nope. I had to fucking go outside to drive to Luke's dang place. <laughs> uh, making the shower probably all for naught. You know, I just hate heat. There's no way around it. Get me out of here. Oh my gosh, you need heat to live. Heat is the only reason we can survive. Thanks. I really can't wait until tomorrow, though. It's not really gonna matter, because I'm pretty sure Luke's family actually... Uh, loves him. <laughs> and, uh, keeps the house air-conditioned. Plus, we're gonna be in a basement, so... Once I get there, I'll be comfy. the trip there. Really, this is, when I when it's solo, ow, it's just like a stream of consciousness. That's all this commentary is. It's not, it's especially bad because I, uh, because I think, I just think the same things over and over again. That's just how I am. It's dumb. But, uh, I just, if it's a stream of conscience, I'm just going to say the same thing over and over again. Great. Yeah, man, at least when we don't have any ideas, you know, just a dumb. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking about it and I'm like, well, I don't have, you know, we don't have to do 1,200. That's why this is going to be a short one. It's fair about like 30 minutes, but I'll stop at 600 if even if it's beforehand, which is looking like it's gonna be. Hmm. Hmm, maybe. Hmm. Maybe I could go for 1,200, though I, I probably shouldn't. 
I should probably take any additional time I get and just use it to my advantage in case anything I plan goes overboard in time. Then I'll have that extra time to back me up. You know how it is. I, I like being <laughs> being my brain is fucking tiring, man. Never a break as far as scheduling goes. You're hearing some of that right fucking now. Just what a privilege. <laughs> this is why I need Gavin to reel me in. Or the, at least for this game, you know. I play other games, at least there's stuff to talk about, right? Like the game itself. And if I talk about Samurai, that's kind of boring, so. It's like, oof. unless something extraordinary happens, there's nothing really to talk about, huh? Ever since, uh. I like kind of realized that the word extraordinary, like people say extraordinary, ex extraordinary. That's how they pronounce it. I mean, it's extraordinary. Ever since I kind of like just real, it's weird to say that I realized it was the words extra and ordinary combined. But once, <laughs> once I kind of realized that, I started saying it like extraordinary a lot more. And you should too. It's a weird word. really like extraordinary is used to describe something that's like good as opposed to something that's like surprising or weird something that isn't ordinary as it were okay let's not do that oh shit i can't believe that fucking shit worked perfect Except not really, what the hell? Okay. We just gotta get them back. Perfect. Alright. Good job, TM. I was like, I don't even know what I was saying before. Another trademark of myself. But, uh... It's funny, because usually, now we, Gavin and I just do 1,200. It started because that's when all the rewards start or stop becoming consistent. But then, you know, it's like solid, you know, like 50 minutes to an hour. And usually that's how long we take to talk about stuff. So we just kind of kept it, but never really thought about the idea of like, if we have no topics, we could just do shorter salmon runs and have it be fine. <laughs> you know, it's weird. Cause it's like, why do you do this? Well, you know, catch up with get like, you know, one, something that forces me to just stream in general. And, you know, this is kind of mindless to play, too. You just pick it up and play it. Two, something to play with Gavin. So, you know, and, you know, have something. Just time, quality time with Gavin, essentially, is what it boils down to. And, you know, have some quality time with my good friend Gavin where we can talk about stuff. And, uh... And it, I guess, like learn any gaming news or shit that he brings to the table that I don't. Yeah, I mean, it's like, you know. Oh, wait, yeah, duh. And <laughs> I like to stream Salmon Run. It sounds dumb, but it's like I like to stream every Salmon Run because, like, that we've started getting in a loop of it, and now it's just kind of, like, nice to have, like, a little archive, you know? Maybe one day people will go back and be like, this is useful. Or something. I don't know. <laughs> Having all the salmon runs like this is useful. Oh so, yeah, it's not just that. If it was just that, I would have less of an argument, I think. But, uh... There's other stuff. Yeah, this is actually kind of useful for the snipers. The rolling. Oh, wow. It just killed me instantly. Yeah, that's why I'm doing this solo right now, instead of just not doing it because Gavin's not here, and because it's hot, and because I have time restraints, essentially, because of that fact, kind of. We're kind of uh, in a thing. In a tumble. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know the word. I'm really good at words. Trust me. I'm the Bookworm Adventures guy. I'm really good at words. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's something. Maybe that's an idea I can humor, because I never really thought about that. Kind of like uh, Extraordinary, right? See, look, it all, it all comes back, and that wasn't even planned. 
that actually would have made it in. Thank God someone else got it in, though. Fuck. Yeah, it's, like, extraordinary. You, you never really think about it. It's kind of obvious, but you never really think about it. Until it comes up in a, uh, in another context. In the case of extraordinary, a sign my teacher had above the chalkboard. <laughs> or whiteboard, I should say. Chalkboards are terrible, terrible things. In this modern day and age of the 21st century, no one should have a chalkboard. They are, ugh, ooh, I hate them. You always think nails on chalkboard, and then they make a similar sound. Just the ugh, and then the gross. Hard, harder to operate. Whiteboards are the way. Whiteboard. Whiteboards are the way to go. Smart boards are pretty sick, but of course, not everyone can afford those. Ow. Remember the days of projectors in school? Like, the old projector that you would put a sheet of, like, translucent paper on? And it would, uh, it would, like, produce it as a white box on the wall? And teachers would use that? Man, those were the days, except not really. Now there's, like, oh, I didn't realize we were, oh, whoops, well. Yeah, now the bare minimum is like one of those things in the ceilings, and then you just like, kind of connect your computer there, and then the little upgrade is the smart board. But, you know, it makes me wonder, like, how many schools have smart boards nowadays? Because I've been out, and you know, college doesn't count, because, of course, colleges can afford smart boards. <laughs> uh, alright, let's see. Yeah, about 5.45, I can put some food in. Start packing, shower. Yep. Yeah, you know, that was really short, like you know, 20 minutes. How about that? 22 minutes, but it works. So yeah, you know, maybe we'll maybe we'll humor the idea of shorter salmon runs when we don't have anything to talk about. <laughs> for better or for worse, maybe like pick up another game in the meantime or something. That'd be a bit more productive on my part. Though it probably won't happen because I'm a lazy person. Wait, there's a new weapon. Oh shit. Alright, I gotta... This one. Wrong... I was pressing the wrong one. It has splat bombs. It has ink storm, but it has splat bombs. I'm like, oh, splat bombs. Not my favorite. Do I own the normal tri -saucer? You know what? I probably bought it when it was OP. Because I'm a sad sack like that. I think I might prefer this. Yeah, nothing. Alright. So that was that. You know, pretty short, pretty simple. Still a showcase of the Samurai. <laughs> and still stream technically, even if I don't like to count it personally. Yeah, I just don't know what that is. So, when's the next Salmon Run, actually? I kind of stopped doing this. Mostly because you switch games and then, like... Salmon Run isn't on the mind by the time you're done playing, like, Battle Block Theater. Which actually ended, I think, exactly a week ago. Gavin and I might do another game like that. We might not, though. I, you know, I'm kind of fine with, like, getting, doing more single-player games on my own, and then him also doing more single-player games. And then we can reconverge once we kind of chunked away in the battle backlog we both need to complete. Either way, next Salmon Run should be on 4.16. Two days on the Monday. There we go. So yeah. I don't know. Gavin might uh Gavin might do a salmon run on his own tomorrow morning is time. I don't know if that that probably means either super early in the morning in America or in the morning in America. As he does it in the early afternoon. I don't know what he meant by morning, but, you know, twitch.tv slash pocketbelt if you want to check him out. He might do it. I don't know if he'll, he'll do it because I did it, but I think the idea was if I didn't do it, then he would do it to at least have the thing filled out, which he seemed to have friction with the last time we talked about it, but I'm glad that he doesn't at the moment. Maybe he was just, you know lying just to bother me but yeah <laughs> all right a uh, goodbye and i'll find someone to i don't know who's even on right now sure
think Botanic Sage is playing Splatoon 2. So look, it's like the same content. Nice.